come up, shake them up, shake them. <laughs> What's going on? This is your boy, Forever Brandon TV. Come back to you guys. This is my very first review on my fucking dog, Ice Cube, guys. I have been a Ice Cube fan since forever. When I tell you I am the diest hardest Ice Cube fan, there it is. I've been loving Ice Cube since I was a, since five or four years old, y'all. Ever since Friday, I love just about all his movies. Pretty much the majority of uh, of his music, guys. No Vaseline. Can we get into the cuts, man? Oh my God, timeless cuts, y'all. Straight from L.A., straight from Los Angeles, y'all. My 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 dog, the N.W.A. master himself, Ice Cube. Okay, get into it. We finna get into it. We finna get into it. We finna, get into it. We, finna get into, we finna get into it. Okay, he has a album, Everything's Corrupt. And mind you, he didn't put the I. He put the A. He kept that shit, Everything's Corrupt. Okay, get into it. Get into it. Get into it. We finna get into the 16 track album, which is amazing, guys. This is his 10th studio album. Um, my very first solo review of Ice Cube. I'm so excited to, uh, to, to do this because Ice Cube has paved the way for hip hop. He has uh, 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 opened the doors for so many people in his generation. He is one of the hugest um, uh, uh, hip hop moguls out there. He has his star in Hollywood. He deserves it, uh, and he just he just really really set boundaries. Uh, uh, he he uh, uh, his son. Y'all get into it. Oh, oh, oh Shay. Oh, Shay Jackson, get into it. I y'all know what his son is really good too. His son is really talented. Um, and his children, um, and, uh, he just really, really set a good example, uh, uh, just, he's just really, really just a, a person that I always looked up to, uh, he always had a message in his music, and I, I, why not, you know, go all out for this video, um, cause today is gonna be a good day, so we finna get into, uh, the album, uh, Super OG, which is the intro, it started off with the little intro, y'all know, uh, Ice Cube is known for doing great skits on his albums, uh, and this is, this really just sets the cake, uh, 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 uh arrest the president, now, see, I love the aggression, the attitude, Ice Cube has not changed, okay? Get into it. Can we get into how he's saying that a president, the president should be arrested? Yes, he's talking about Donald Trump's redneck ass needs to be arrested because of the things that he has, that, 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 that because he's not a good, he's not good for America right now. He's making everything corrupt. And that's one of the, that's one of the strongest messages in this album. Is he's doing he's touched on politics, bullies. Uh, oh my God, he touched on uh, drugs. He touched he touched on uh, fighting fire with water. He touched on just everything. He talks he he touches on how he doesn't really have haters. You know, he's just really really bold. And that's one of the things I always uh, uh, always loved about Ice Cube. Um, but getting to it, arrest the president is is just is it starts off really really good. Like I, I love it. It's just it's just it's just typical Ice Cube fashion, and I I live for it. Chase down a bully. I think this song should be called "Stay Ready" because he, you know, kind of chants "Stay Ready" throughout the whole entire song. But he just talk. He just talks about if a bully tries to come up to him, I got something for his ass, and that is what I relate to. You know what? Nobody likes a bully. Nobody likes being bullied. And uh, this is one of the songs that if you if if if, if you uh, have a bully in your life, have some for his ass. So the next time he mess with you. Uh, make sure he don't mess with you again, or make sure she don't mess with you again. So I love this song. I love the message, and it's, it it just has a good message. Don't bring me no bag. Now I'm telling y'all something. I'm gonna I'm gonna tell y'all something. Now my cousin, uh 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 the mogul. Y'all know I have done timeless reviews of him. This song actually really kind of sounds like a song he will make. It's so dope. Y'all know I I I kind of. I, I kind of, you know, for years, you know, me and my brother have always, uh, you know, uh, pointed out that um, our cousin, the mogul, kind of looks like Ice Cube in a way. Yeah. Um, and, uh, they, they, you know, they it's some similarities, you know, but um, uh, overall, I think that, you know, Don't Bring Me No Bag is just one of the dopest songs on this album. I really, really like it. It's just really, really good, and I just really, really just like his uh, uh, the 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 way he did the the the, the hook is just 
cold. Like, uh, uh, the, the beat was on point. Everything was just on point. Ice Cube just gave me mad fire. Bad dope. He's saying, like, he's like the bad dope. Uh, 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 that, that you taking. He's like, uh, he's basically saying he's a force to be reckoned with. You know, he's basically saying that he's, he, he's, uh, 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 he's, uh, uh, the, the, the top. He's, he's the top drug. He's a bad dope. And I, I live for it. I live for it. I live for it. And that song is uh, on them pills. He's talking about how people that's on drugs don't have time to pay their bills because they're so, uh, 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 loosey goosey off drugs, and it's just a really good song. It just talks about you know he talked he tells a couple of stories about people he have seen in the street, and people that he has people that he know that uh that's that's so that's chasing after drugs when they should be chasing after their responsibilities, and that's just really really uh, a good a good message. Fire water. This is one of my favorite songs on this album. The beat, the heat, the fire, the way he came in was cold. I'm telling you. I'm telling you. You got to check it out. You got to check it out. Because Cube is, 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 is spitting that heat. Shed, uh, uh, street Shed Tears. He's basically talking about how he wants to be remembered. He, he's basically saying he's going to be remembered when he's gone. You know, uh, the, the 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 streets will know his name, and he'll 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 peak their shed tears for him. And I, I just think that it's just a really good song to talk about. You know, uh, 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 uh it's just really really good. I I really like the song. And got no haters featuring Too Short. Now I'm not a huge Too Short fan, but it is good to see that Too Short still can can make music and still can do things. However. I really, really do love this song. He's basically saying that, you know, uh, he doesn't have no haters. People are going to be showing him mad cred, which is true. You know, Tupac, I mean, I mean, not Tupac, uh, uh, um, uh, 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 Ice Cube, <laughs> sorry, because I don't know why. Ice Cube uh, 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 has a reputation so big that... You really can't show him hate, and that's the, and, and and that's one of the things that he kind of points out uh, on 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 this uh, on on this song particularly, and I just really really liked it. Uh, uh, it's just one of my favorites. Can you dig it? Okay, he goes a little old school. He talks about how he was in the seventies, how he was in the eighties, and how he was in the nineties to how it's a threat to the newer generation. You know, how he can still be himself for all these years and the new generation is is biting and, 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 and throwing shade. And I really, really like this song. He was a little vulgar on it, but I, you know what? This is typical Ice Cube fashion. I, I, this is another one of my favorite songs because he's just straight real, straight mad fire. And I, and I, and I love it. I love it. I love it. Uh, that new Funkadelic, y'all, y'all know he had to, he had to do the old school Los Angeles. He had to go old school with us on this one, um, and I really liked it because, um, you know, it showed that even though he still kind of has a newer sound on his album, he still can go back to his old school sound. You know, uh, back when he was with N.W.A., back when he was, you know, doing stuff with Dr. Dre, back when, you know, he was uh, uh, doing uh, his earlier solo projects. This is one of the songs that kind of fits in that same direction. One for the money is basically saying if he's not out for one thing in the world, it's for the money. You know, he has to do he has to do whatever he do to take care of his responsibilities. And that's dope, dope. I live for it. Still in the kitchen. I love this song because it's just so unique. It's different. It has a different vibe to it. Uh he's basically saying he's still in the kitchen. You know, he's still cooking up. And, and and I and I like that. The non-believers, he's basically saying that everybody should have a believer. Everybody should believe in something. And I love the song. Everything's corrupt. The self-titled song is just put the icing on the cake. Uh, 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 and, and summed up what the album is talking about because he's touching so many different subjects, talking about how the world is corrupt. Uh, then good cop, bad cop, y'all. I just love it. I live for it. It's good. Um, uh, uh, the, the last song on the album really, really put the icing on the cake, you know, uh, the overall, this entire album was needed because Ice Cube hasn't made any fire in a, in a minute, you know, his last album came out in 2010, it's been a little minute since he has made music, and for him to come back and still keep his longevity... And, and and keep his momentum and keep his uh, keep his thirst for uh for for spread messages and music. I live for it. I I totally live for it, y'all. And this album, everything's corrupt. I give it a ten out of ten because Ice Cube. 
uh, just still is at that age where he can still uh, spit heat, uh, you know, and, and if you can't take it, he's basically saying you can take your ass and listen to shit music. And that's one of the things I I I I I I I I love about uh this album because Ice Cube is out for blood, okay? And he's basically saying everything's corrupt, something has to change. You know, we shouldn't have to kill for money. We shouldn't have to uh 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 sell our souls for money. We shouldn't have to uh 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 chase after drugs. Um, over responsibilities. We shouldn't choose drugs over responsibilities. You know, he just had so many subjects and I live for it. Ice Cube, it was a pleasure on reviewing uh, uh, you because you are one of my favorite artists and I look up to you, bro. I always looked up to you and this is your boy, Favorite Brandon TV. Stay ready! <laughs>